Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. Today we'll take a look at the rib tool to make what will essentially be benches in this model, but will also help stiffen it against deflection. Friday we'll look at and compare the results from these different variations of the canoe, all of which are being made into different configurations of the same part file and have their own studies being made. This time the canoe is a solid model again. To use the rib tool, First we need a plane to create a sketch on, which will also be the top of our benches. I'll create a reference plane, offset from the top plane by 20 inches. On that plane, I'll create a new sketch, and basically just draw three line segments where I want the center of these ribs to be. I don't really have to worry about how long the lines are, as long as they're centered correctly. Another interesting trick is if you're drawing discontinuous lines like this, you can click once and hold until the second point like you're actually drawing the line. That'll make it so the next segment won't be connected. I don't have to worry about length, but I do want them spaced equally, so I'll dimension that out real quickly. Now that those are drawn, I'll go into the Features tab and select the Rib tool. I'll tell it to make these 14 inches wide, keep the extrusion direction, which is perpendicular to the sketch, and give it a draft of three degrees. If I had changed the extrusion direction, it would have extruded that along the sketch plane, which isn't what we wanted in this case. The preview may not look right, but let's go ahead and see what hitting OK does. That looks just how I wanted it to turn out. I created those ribs to the limits of the geometry and merged them with the original body. I like this exactly how it is, so I'll apply a polyethylene material and save this. I'll create another simulation for this that will have the same setup as yesterday's, except the shell will be just one material instead of a composite. Thanks for watching. Contact us with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.